So, I finally get to review an episode of this show. From the moment I watched Hanazuki, I've always wanted to give it the justice that it deserved. Which I ended up not doing by reviewing the only bad and absolute worst episode of the show. So for Hanazuki's 3 year anniversary, I decided to review my favourite episode of the show, Big Bad Sickness. This episode cemented my love for the show. And it's a combination of everything I love about it. But I want to go more in depth on why. I mean, there's no time like the present, am I right? This episode picks up from the previous episode, with Hanazuki desperate to find a cure for a fading red hemka. By the way, if you haven't watched the listed episodes, this one will make absolutely no sense. We then cut back to the others restoring the treasure trees. And since I will be reviewing the transplant, I might as well bring this up. I really love how Kiyazuki is wanting to protect Hanazuki's moon from the big bad. Especially since he carelessly stole all of Hanazuki's treasure trees in the previous episode. And Kiyazuki is a far more likeable character with her turnaround. And he managed to restore enough trees to wipe away the big bad. Meanwhile, Hanazuki and Doring are still looking for the plants that can cure Red Hemka. And this part of the episode is super intense. Like, I was shaking about during the whole thing. Red is literally close to fading away and dying. He's faded as is, yet he'll be gone at any moment. You know what? Fuck it. I'm maxing out the point system. This episode deserves it. Unfortunately, Doi forgot where the plants were located. I could have sworn the plants I had in mind were around here someplace. No more walking. He's becoming so faded, I'm afraid he might crumble in my arms. Doi, go gather whatever you can and bring it back here. Wanderer, go get the other Hemkas. They're in the safety cave. The big bad's gone, so bring everyone you can. You see what I mean about the intensity? Red could be gone by the time everybody gets here. Wanda shows up in time to warn the others and they all go off except for Kiyazuki. And then we get a scene that's quite sad when you think about it. After the big bad knocking us around since like forever, I finally got it on the run! This could be the beginning of finding your little buddies the big bad swept away from us. <laughs> what? No, 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 don't be sad! Come on, we got this! If only Little Dreamer would finally cut me a break. Fat lot of help you were back then! Seriously, Kiyazuki losing most of her Zakaros because she had the inability to quote treasure trees is really sad. And close to heartbreaking. No, not close to heartbreaking, definitely heartbreaking. So Little Dreamer comes down and Kiyazuki thinks she's gonna get a treasure, but when he flies right past her, she chases him down. And when the others manage to cure Red, Little Dreamer gives Hanazuki the treasure. And Kiyazuki is fucking pissed. <laughs> You did not just give that to her! I saved this moon, not her! Kiyazuki, what's wrong? I should get the treasure and not you! <laughs> this causes Kiyazuki to wake up a Mazadrill, which he takes to the other side of the moon with horrible intentions. Then the Hemkas turn into one giant Hemka. I am loving this build-up. Then Red goes on to combine with the other Hemkas despite the others calling him back. And here comes my only minor criticism with this episode. They build up to Red doing what he did, making it sound like it'll affect him badly later on. But it doesn't, so it means fuck all in the end. Okay, you do have a fair point. I'll add the point back. Meanwhile, Kiyazuki is using the Master Drill to pull out all the treasure trees. And we get a pretty engaging battle while Hanazuki tries to talk it out with Kiyazuki who refuses to show or tell how she really feels, despite showing obvious hints. Oh, that's it! You're hurting! You're sad! No! I'm not sad! It's okay! Let it out! I said I'm not sad! <laughs> that moment really hit hard. I don't think I could put into words why, but I think some of you can relate. And after this hilarity, we get, in my opinion, the best moment in the entire show. I won't show the entire thing since I already did that in the previous video, but I'll show my favourite parts of it. No one understands! I understand, Kizuki. If I lost my little guys, I'd be so sad. So sad. Ugh.
Would you look at that? What? I don't see anything. My point exactly. Seriously, if I could have more points for this moment, I definitely would. So, that was Big Bad Sickness, and it was fucking awesome! Everything about this episode was perfectly paced, and hits all of the emotional notes that it reached for. Whether it be for the intense moments, the sad implications, the soul crushing scenes that made you go, <coughs> and literally everything about the final act. Even with my most minor complaints, it's something that the episode is better off having in than having fixed. This is peak writing for Hanazuki. I'll always be supporting this series so Hanazuki can get off their lazy asses and take the show off its hiatus already. What?